Good morning, Nicholas. It's time for school. Come on, get out of bed. Jessica is already up and dressed. Good morning, Mom. Let's check the weather out today. It's looking a bit cloudy. Looks like it's going to rain. So we should take our umbrellas. The trees are blowing side to side. It means it's a little windy, but still a lovely morning. Go to the bathroom and brush your teeth. Then get dressed and come downstairs to get some breakfast. Okay, Mom. What are we going to have for breakfast? We're going to have bagel with eggs, bacon, and cream cheese this morning. And strawberry blueberry smoothie. Perfect. Can I make the smoothie? Yeah, sure. You need frozen strawberries, blueberries, almond milk, and Greek yogurt. It sounds yummy. Shall I also put some bananas? No, we should leave the banana out of this recipe to allow the flavors of the berries to shine. Grab the blender and add almond milk first. Then toss in the strawberries, blueberries, and Greek yogurt. Blend it until smooth. You can add some cinnamon too. It looks nice and thick. And it tastes delicious. The egg bagel sandwiches are ready too. I've also added tomatoes and cucumbers. We are missing the main ingredient, the ketchup. That is a yummy egg bagel sandwich. It's so filling. Now that we had breakfast, I guess we better get going. It looks like it's getting nice out. That's right. I thought it would rain. It's the day we thoroughly clean the whole house. We throw away things we don't need. Pack up things to donate to the local homeless shelter. Clean all of the rooms. And wash all of the windows. What exactly do we have to do, Mom? You must clean your rooms. They are really messy. Clear your beds and chairs of all the items and be sure to put them in their appropriate place. Clean under the beds, too. Then make your beds using fresh linens. Vacuum the entire room. Dust the shelves and put the books that are on the floor in their right places. Clear and clean the dressers and leave them in order. That's a lot to do. We better get started. We have a lot to do indeed. I have to do several loads of laundry and clean the kitchen and the dining room. I'll clean the living room and the attic. It's getting full up there. I don't even remember what's in there anymore. Me neither. We probably don't need a lot of that stuff. What should we do with it? I think I'm going to have a garage sale next weekend. Yeah, that's a great idea. I have finished cleaning the windows. That was a huge job. Oh, good. Let me check the list and see what we've done so far. Have you cleaned the counters? Yes, I have. So you can mark them as finished. Okay. I'll mark the windows off the list too. What about the floors? Have you vacuumed and mopped them? I have done that too. What else have we put on the list? Dusting the shelves. I already did that yesterday. Oh, yeah, I remember. So I'll cross that off the list, too. So how about you? What have you done so far? I've cleaned the attic. I've made three piles, keep, donate or sell, and trash. I found a few sentimental items that I decided to keep. There is so much more space now. It looks great. Wonderful. I still have to clean the living room. Then I'm done. Okay, I'll go check on the kids now. Mom, what's for dinner? 
I could really go for something spicy like chili. Spicy? I'm not into spicy food right now. Gee, I've been so busy with house cleaning that I haven't given dinner a single thought. Anyway, I don't feel much like cooking. I'm just too tired to prepare a meal, even a small one. Plus, there's almost nothing in the fridge because we didn't make it to the grocery store this weekend. What do you say we order some food? Good idea, Dad. Let's order Chinese food. Don't we have a menu somewhere? The last time we ordered from that place, the food was greasy and it took them forever to deliver. But you know what? There's a new Greek restaurant downtown. I heard they deliver very fast. But doesn't Greek food have lots of garlic? Just the thought of garlic turns me off. Garlic's good for you. I can't get enough of it myself. At this rate, we'll never get anything to eat. I'm starving. You two are too picky. Let's better order some pizza and put on a good movie. Good idea. I'm crazy about pizza. In fact, my favorite is Hawaiian. I don't like Hawaiian pizza. I can't stand pineapple on pizza. I prefer to eat fruit for dessert, not with the main course. So I'll go for chicken pizza. I'll have pepperoni. Me too. Mom asked me to go grocery shopping, but I need to finish my homework. Can you go for me, Nicholas? I guess I can. What did Mom want you to buy? Some pork, fish, vegetables, and milk. You can buy some snacks too, like chocolate cookies. What kind of fish does Mom want? Mom wants some salmon and some cod. Make sure that they are fresh. How much salmon and cod should I buy? Oh, buy four pieces of salmon fillet and four pieces of cod fillet. Do I need to buy some spices so Mom can marinate a fish? Yes, get some ground pepper and some garlic. How about vegetables? We need carrots, potatoes, cabbage, and some lettuce. We need some fruit also. What do you want? Apples and bananas. And how about some soft drinks? No, buy some bottled water instead. It is healthier for us. Oh, I just remembered. We also need bread. Please put it on the list. Should I get one loaf or two? Two loaves. You have quite a few items to take care of. You need to get going. Yes, the list is quite long. By the time I get to the cashier to pay, I will probably have a full shopping cart. Okay, I am all set to go. I'll be back soon. Thanks. The clothes dryer stopped working. We need a new one. But this one is not so old. We just need to fix it. I can do it myself. It needs just a new moisture sensor. Are you sure you can do it? It seems a complicated job. Better call the repairman. I'm not going to let the repair guy rip me off and pay hundreds of dollars on this. I come from a long line of handymen. My dad used to fix everything: lawnmowers, cars, appliances. His father was a house builder. One of his brothers built boats, and one made furniture. I have been helping my dad and grandpa since I was a young child on anything, so I think I can fix the dryer myself. I'll have this thing running in no time, honey. I watched an instructional video, so I know exactly what to do. It's done. It's as good as new. I fixed the dryer. I took it all apart and swapped out the sensor. Now press start and see if it works. It works. I had no idea you were so good with your hands. You could definitely say that repairing things has always been in your blood. Can you hold the end of this tape measure? 
sure. What's this for? I'm taking some measurements for new curtains. Didn't you say the house needs doing over? What about measuring the floor for a new carpet and the walls for a new wallpaper? I thought we'd just fix up the wood floor and use some paint for the walls. Okay, sounds good. We need to scrape off all the loose flakes of paint before redecorating. Tomorrow we'll go out and pick out some curtains and paint. I can't wait. Uh, shall we redecorate the hallway too? We can consider it. Maybe we can decorate it in a more traditional way. I went over the household budget, and we've overspent this month. Our expenses are mounting. We have to cut back on our shopping from now on. Really? That's too bad. We need to figure out how much money we've spent and what we've spent it on. Okay, let's get the receipts out. Let's see. We've spent $850 on our home loan payment, $300 on groceries, $111 on utilities, $250 on gasoline, $200 on clothes, $100 on books, $150 on cell phones, and $400 on entertainment last month. That's $2,361. We put $500 into the savings account. That's $286.61. Our paychecks add up to $3,100. That means we don't have any receipts for $239. Right. Let's think about it for a bit. Where do you think we can save money? Well, we could eat in more often. That $400 for entertainment is mostly going to restaurants. Yeah, that's a good idea. And you like to cook. Did you see our last electricity bill? No. Was it high? It was very high. How much higher is it than usual? It is double the normal amount. Wow, that is high. Can we afford that? No. We need to do some changes from now on to lower it. But what can we do? From now on, we must unplug the unused electronic devices. Next, we must adjust the water temperature to 48 degrees Celsius. It shouldn't be hotter than that. We can do our laundry using cold water. That will save a bunch of money because we're not wasting hot water. Also, we should run full loads. Instead of doing multiple small loads, we should do one big load. Another way to save is to lower the temperature when we're going to sleep at night or when we're not in the house. During the winter months, we can set the temperature to 18 degrees Celsius. During the hot summer days, we can increase the temperature to 24 degrees Celsius. So we're not wasting our air conditioning's energy cooling the house too much. Exactly. We can also change our regular light bulbs to LED. That will save us another bunch of money. We'll be saving four to six times the energy. Perfect. We'll do so from now on. Hello, I'd like to speak to the sales manager of this company. Yes, sure, I can get her for you. Please wait here a minute. Hello, my name is Alice White. I'm the sales manager. How can I help you? Hello, I'm Pamela Young, and I want to make a complaint about one of your products which I bought yesterday. Which product are you referring to? I used this moisturizer, which proved harmful to me. In what way it proved harmful? Right after using it, I got a skin rash. You can clearly see it. This has never happened to me before. Well, you can't be sure it was caused by our product. The skin allergy may be caused by something else, like some food, for example. Our products are made according to the highest industry standards. I know for a fact that it was caused by your product. 
I don't have any food allergies. The quality of your product is not good. Believe me, the quality of our product is very good. We have our own laboratory where we do various tests to ensure the best quality of our products and services. Your company is cheating its customers. We are not cheating our customers. Our products are not harmful in any sense. Very well then. I'll take this case to the consumer protection and prove that you are scammers that cheat people out of money. There's no need to go that far. We're sorry for the inconvenience and we'll give you a refund right away. We'll also pay for a consultation with the dermatologist. Is that okay with you? Idea. Oh, really? I'm all ears. We can open a juice bar. Come again? A juice bar? What exactly is that? It's a small shopper stand that sells fruit and vegetable juices that are freshly squeezed. It can be a kiosk, a juice cart, or a juice truck. Fresh, healthy juices are very popular. It is a business with a low startup cost. Does this idea appeal to you? Well, sort of. But who is going to buy juice from a stand on the street? People who are concerned with their health and who want to increase their energy levels. We're going to make so much money. I'm sure it will be a successful business. Calm down. Don't get carried away. How are people going to know about our juice bar? You're going to have your cousin make a website for us. He works in IT. You can also print posters and flyers and put them everywhere. Okay, what else? You're going to buy a juice machine, a blender, an ice machine, cups, bowls, and straws. All these things must be very expensive. Yeah, but just think of all the profit a juice bar can make. But first you'll have to apply for a permit at City Hall. And then rent a space that includes a sink for washing and preparing the fruits and vegetables. Wow, I sure am going to do a lot for this juice bar. Are you going to do anything? Yes, I'm going to make the design of the bar. Its name is going to be Paul's Juice Bar. Haha, <laughs> that's a good one. Hi, what can I get for you today? Hey there, I'd like a whole wheat loaf and a sourdough loaf, please. Sure thing. You want them sliced? Yeah, sure. Okay, anything else? I'd also like dessert, but I'm not sure what to get. Everything in the case looks delicious. As you can see, we have a lot of different types of donuts, cookies, cupcakes, and cakes over here. Oh, that cake over there looks wonderful. This one? It's a berry cake with vanilla buttercream and juicy fresh berries. It's very sweet and refreshing. I got all the berries at my local farm. If you like chocolate, you may like this one over here with the frosting and sprinkles. Oh, that looks good too. Hmm, it's so hard to decide. I think I'll take the berry cake. And those cookies look delicious. What kind are they? Double chocolate. They're a fresh batch, too. I just popped them out of the oven a few minutes ago. In that case, I'm going to have to grab some. I'll take a dozen, please. Sounds good. Can I get you anything else? Yes. I'd also like three donuts of each type and two chocolate croissants. Sure, no problem. Would you like the cookies, donuts, and croissants in the same box as the cake? No, please put them in separate boxes if you don't mind. Not at all. Here you go. Thanks. How much do I owe you? Hey, Leah. That's a pretty big parcel you have. 
Can I give you a hand? Where are you going? Thanks, Alan. Actually, it's not that heavy, just a little bulky. I'm sending some clothes home to my sister, so I'm headed to the post office. I thought it was on this block. Can you tell me where it is? Oh, it's not far. It's right around the block. Go to that corner and make a right. When you get to the crosswalk, cross the street. You'll see the post office right there in front of you. You can't miss it. Great, thanks. Hello, what can I do for you today? Hello, I need to mail this package to Mexico, please. What is in the package? Some clothes. Are there any breakables? Is it fragile? No. Okay, let's see how much it weighs. It's about seven pounds. What is the address? I have it here. Please fill out this customs declaration form. Okay, when will my package arrive? It depends on your shipping choice. If you send it express, it will get there in five to ten business days. Or you can send it priority, and it will get there in 8 to 15 business days. I would like to send it express. Okay. How much will that be? $65.82. Oh, I'm afraid that's a bit expensive. Then you can choose the priority, which is $43.17. There is also first class, which is the cheapest way to mail the package. It costs only $13.19, but it will get there in two to eight weeks. And it doesn't have a tracking number or insurance. Priority is the most convenient, I guess, so I'll go for that. Okay. Do you need anything else? I also need a book of stamps. Okay. Your total comes to $50.35. How would you like to pay? With my credit card. Is there anything else I can help you with today? No, that's it. Thank you. Here's your receipt. Your tracking number is on the receipt. Have a nice day. You too. Do you know where I can buy a cheap dishwasher? I think the home improvement store is having a big sale this weekend. Is your dishwasher broken? Yeah, I need to replace it. It's not the end of the world, but it's still frustrating. After having been spoilt by having a dishwasher for the past seven years, washing dishes by hand is not easy. Now I have to sacrifice some of my downtime to do this chore. Have you tried to repair it? Yeah, we called the repairman yesterday. When he came to have a look at it, he told me that he would have to order a new one, as the dishwasher is so old that you can't get parts for it anymore. Oh, that's too bad. We really can't afford to buy a new one right now, but I really need one. Why don't you buy a used one? It's much cheaper this way. Where can I get a used one that's in good condition? I actually have a friend who is selling hers. It's in perfect condition. There's nothing wrong with it. And I think she bought it a year ago, so it's not that old. She just wants a different brand. Really? You're a lifesaver. I just want one that works well. Do you know how much it is? I don't know. Let me call her right away. Thanks. I really appreciate it. Thanks so much for coming. I had been calling repair places all morning, but no one had time. So, what's wrong with the TV? Well, I was enjoying my popcorn while I was watching my favorite TV show. And just at the interesting part, the TV suddenly stopped working. Was it making any strange noises? Yes, there were also some strange noises, and it was showing funny colors for a few minutes. Then it just turned off. I planned a little party this evening to watch the soccer game with my friends. Really? Are you a big soccer fan? 
Yes, I'm the biggest fan of the local team. I'm a fan too. It means you'll be watching them tonight too. Of course. I can't wait actually. So, are you seeing anything terribly wrong with the TV? No, it's nothing serious. I can fix it very easily, but I need to go first to the hardware store to buy some replacement parts. Will it be very expensive? No, I don't think so. Everything is pretty cheap at this store. Will you finish it today? Yes, of course. You'll definitely be able to watch the big game tonight with your friends. Oh, that's great news. I was afraid I would have to cancel my party. Hello, Chris. You're looking a bit tired. What have you been up to? Well, I am tired actually. I've started going to evening classes 3 times a week and evening classes. But Chris, how can you manage? You already have to put in a lot of overtime at work as it is without taking up a hobby as well. Well, it's not exactly a hobby. I'm doing my higher accounting diploma. And it's quite a lot of extra work, but well, you know I don't like my job. And I've been looking for another one, but everyone wants the higher diploma. So I decided that if I was ever going to get anywhere, I'd better get on and pass a few exams. Well, good for you. I don't think I'd have the courage to take on any more work at this stage in my life. I have to. If I don't, I'll be stuck in the same dead-end job for the rest of my life. And actually, I quite enjoy these classes. The other people doing the course are really friendly and nice. And the teachers are excellent. No comparison with school. I really feel I'm benefiting. I thought I might do a foreign language when I finish this, and then I'll be really well qualified. Thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more videos like this.